Hi guys, how are you doing today? And welcome to the next section of our Automation Framework Development with Coded UI video series. And in this section, we will be talking about SpecFlow and how to work with SpecFlow and Coded UI and write scenarios using SpecFlow. So this video is all about introduction to SpecFlow plus Coded UI. Introduction to SpecFlow. Well, SpecFlow is a pragmatic BDD solution for .NET. It uses the Gherkin specification language and integrates to Visual Studio. It provides efficient testing solution for the .NET related platforms like .NET 3.5, 4.0, Mono, Silverlight 3, 4 or Windows Phone 7. So this is what is SpecFlow. But if you want to learn more about SpecFlow, you can always go to Exit Automation YouTube channel or here in Udemy on Automate Application with SpecFlow and Selenium C Sharp or you can learn the free course available in YouTube right here. So this will give a complete information on BDD, how to work with BDD, how to create Gherkin syntax and what is the real working behind the scenes of BDD and SpecFlow and how to work with contest injection and everything is available right here in the YouTube as well as in the Udemy course. So you can always go back and watch from there. So we will not be dealing about any basics of spec flow in our course because that will completely divert our way of learning right now. Does spec flow is supported by coded UI out of the box? So that's the question which everybody was asking me and I was wondering that if that is going to be the case, but it is not. Coded UI is not supported out of the box in spec flow. So what's the reason for that? Well, Coded UI API is not directly compatible with SpecFlow as each test class needs to have an attribute Coded UI test. So as you recollect in our previous videos of this course, we have a attribute in our class called Coded UI test, but that is not compatible by SpecFlow and SpecFlow doesn't generate this by default. Hence, we need to ensure the SpecFlow generates this attribute and ensure that any SpecFlow hooks also ensure the Coded UI API is initialized. So this is something which is not available out of the box with SpecFlow. So what should we do then? Well, there are two ways to do it. The first one is create a custom code which generates the appropriate attributes of Coded UI in your feature file code behind. So it is something like this. Right now, if you try to generate any code for Coded UI testing, your code behind of the feature file will look something like this. It will have a NUnit framework and then there will be a test fixture attribute and there will be a description attribute, something like this. But while we add a attribute, something like this, as you can see in the third line of the attribute, Microsoft.VisualStudio.TestingTools.UITesting.Coded.UITest attribute. So only if we have this attribute in place for our class, then only we can make sure that our test will run as expected. So for that reason, we have to develop a custom code to generate this attribute by default. Or we need to write a custom plugin for Coded UI in SpecFlow. So SpecFlow is providing an improved plugin infrastructure for customization. You can implement the SpecFlow plugin that can change the behavior of built-in generator and runtime components. A typical plugin can, for example, provide support for a new unit testing framework. In our case, it's MS test for Coded UI. Well, Coded UI framework is built on the top of MS test, but still the UI layer, like the UI testing, is not supported out of the box in SpecFlow. And that's the reason we are incurring these kinds of problem. So we have to either create an attribute class or a SpecFlow plugin. So your plugin in the app.config is gonna look something like this. You will have a SpecFlow tag and within that, we used to provide this unit test provider name is equal to the MS test by default. But while you create a plugin, you need to give a tag, something like plugins, and then you need to add the plugin that you're going to create. So let's start developing the SpecFlow plus Coded UI plugin then, and we'll get to know more about that.